Hello, this informal video will show you how you can open up FileMaker Server Admin Console and stop or close the databases that are open before you restart your server. I'm going to start by finding the icon on the desktop. In this case, it says FileMaker Server Admin Console. But if you don't have that there, let's go ahead and open it up and show you the address. So right here at the top, you could also type that into preferably Chrome. Sometimes um, Edge may work fine, but uh, Internet Explorer may not open that properly. So if you have Chrome, that is definitely a better way to get in. So localhost colon 16001 slash admin dash console with an E slash sign in. That should bring you to this. Now you may be opening up FileMaker Server 18 instead of 17, but it's very, very similar. I'm just showing you with a computer that has Server 17. So you'll enter your credentials. I don't want to put those credentials on this video because it's going to be on the internet, but um, I'm happy to send those to you or we're happy to if you contact our support desk. So we're going to go ahead and sign in and you'll see what this is like. I'm going to maximize that browser window. So you can see now up here that it's uh, at the app dashboard. So by default, it's going to bring you to this dashboard area here, but I'm going to go to the second tab called databases where you'll see in this case, one, two, three, four, five databases that are open. Now I can't really close those right now. I could, I could, and then it would eventually uh, give, well, let me just show you what happens if I do that. I could uh, enter a message and send that to the clients who might still be open and I can change the uh, change that to one minute or two minutes, uh, or, or excuse me, zero minutes or whatever, and kick everyone out. But let's cancel that instead. Instead, I actually have a user open on another computer, and this is a different computer screen I'm showing you. I have this actually open, and you can even see right here on the right that um, it'll tell you the name of the computer that's, uh, or the, the user that's using that. Now, I could disconnect them by clicking here, and again, it's a similar looking window where I could enter a message or just change this to zero and kick them out, which is very possible if you want to do that after hours. But in this case, I'm going to actually close this. I'll just show you again in this window. I'm going to close it on my other computer. It takes a minute to close it, and I'll close that right there. And you'll see in just a moment, it does take a while to refresh or catch up, but you'll see that it's going to turn into zero clients. There we go. So now uh, the point is you want to have all your people out of, all your users out of Hereform and any subsequent files uh, before you close these files. Now I could close all of these at one time or out of a, an abundance of caution, you could close them one at a time. I'm going to do that just by showing you here. I can click the Hereform file and then select close. And let me scroll down a little bit to see th those other options. I'm going to click close, and it does take a little while to close the Hereform file, uh, sometimes longer than the other files, which are smaller. So again, we'll just uh, wait this out for a minute. It's turned red, and now it's turned gray. Gray means that the file is closed. So let's go ahead and close this one. Once again, it's red for a little while, and then it should turn gray in a moment. Now I'm going to close all of them right here all at once, and again, they will turn gray in just a moment. So no clients are connected, all the files are closed. I can now sign out in the upper right hand corner or if you would prefer to be even more careful, you can go to the fourth tab called configuration and literally stop the database server. Let's do that. I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna say zero minutes and it does take a moment before it will do that. And now the files are closed and the server is, uh, the engine is essentially stopped and you can restart your server very easily. Uh, I don't mean restart uh, FileMaker server software, but the, the computer that is hosting the files. So now I could again uh, come over here and shut down or uh, restart the computer and it won't damage any files because I closed them properly. Now, when you do restart your host computer, your server, it will automatically restart the service so that I don't, do, don't have to do what I'm about to do now. So I'm gonna click Start Database Server and this is doing it manually, but again, when you restart your, your host computer, part of the startup process will run the service, open these up, and you'll see right now they're red, but we'll wait just a moment, and now they've turned blue. So it will eventually, within you know a matter of uh, one minute at the most typically, uh, we'll open those files up and now they're available again. And if I wanted to, I could open them up now on other computers or this computer itself. 
So hopefully that explains how you can close those files properly before restarting your server. Thanks very much for watching.